This example is about positional control system. This is the model, the system, and the differential equation describing this model is given by the following. d square x over dt plus alpha dx over dt plus 16x equal to 8vt, where this is the motor input voltage vt and x is the position of the damper there are three things asked here what value of alpha that will produce critical damping second is find the plan transfer function see if the voltage is 4 ut find and plot the output equation and determine the time to settle to within 5% of the final position value to solve this model we should write first the plant transfer function then finding the alpha and finally solve part C so how to find plant transfer function just transform this from time domain to complex domain s square x of s plus alpha x of s plus 16 x equal to 8 v s Now, output over input gives us the transfer function, which is 8 over s squared plus alpha s plus 16. Now, for Part A, what value of alpha that will produce critical damping? In critically damping case, zeta equal to 1, where this is equivalent to a second order system, omega square, s square plus 2 zeta omega n plus omega n square. Thus, 2 zeta omega n equal to alpha, whereas omega n square equal to 16, this yields to omega n equal to 4. Thus, alpha will equal to 2 multiply 4, and it's equal to 8. And this is obvious because in critically damped case we have a repeated pole pulse, repeated pulse with real number a real and repeated poles 8 over s plus 4 whole square because transfer function is equal to 8 over s squared plus 8s plus 16. Now for part C, if V of T, the voltage applied to the motor is 4 unit step volt. Then V of S equal to 4 over S in the S domain. X of S will become 8 multiplied by 4 is 32 over 
this multiply x plus 4 whole square. Now to find and plot the output equation we should make this equation in time domain thus a over s plus remember here is or note here is a repeated pole so it's b1 over s plus 4 plus b2 over s plus 4 squared A will equal to 32 divided by S plus 4 whole square when S equal to 0, when its denominator equal to 0. Thus it's 32 over 16 it's 2. For B1 remember the equation that state that 1 over 2 minus 1 factorial the second or the first derivative s plus 4 square multiplied by x of s when s equal to minus 4 and this gives first derivative of 32 over s when s equal to minus 4 thus p1 equal to 32 over s squared with a minus sign. Minus 4 then, p is minus 2. This is p1. For p2, 1 over 1 minus 1 factorial, which is 0 factorial is 1, p1 minus 1 what d is 1 minus 1 s plus 4 whole square multiplied by the function multiplied by the output in this domain whereas s equal to minus 4 and this gives us 32 over s and s equal to minus 4 and this becomes minus 8 thus the output is 2 over s minus minus 2 over s plus 4 minus 8 over s plus 4 all squared Take the plus inverse, x s gives us x of t in time domain. It's 2 minus 2e minus 4t minus 8t e minus 4t. And we can plot this function in MATLAB. x will equal to, well first I have to adjust the time from 0 with 0.1 second step to let's say 10 seconds. x equal to 2 minus 2. I add the dot because this is an array. Remember when in MATLAB when we multiply an array we should put this dot 
because it multiplied term by term. Multiplied by exponential of minus 4 multiplied by t minus 8 multiplied by exponential multiplied by t multiplied by exponential minus 4 multiplied by t Now plot t in the x axis and y y axis and x in the y axis. You want to grid it, and the system reach steady state in two seconds. If I want to find the settling time of this equation I should write it in an M file let's say x equal to transfer function the denominator is 32 the numerator is 32 and the denominator is 1, 8, and 16. Then, step input to the x, then grid. It will give us the same plot that we See, it's the same plot. In two seconds, the, sit uh, the system reach a steady state value with no with an error of two. You can find the settling time. The settling time is one point, almost four five something like that 4 6 yeah